Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So yeah, I know it was just really recently we did that episode about Pierce Morgan's tweet storm attacking vegans and Greg's vegan sausage roll being offered in the UK. And I had no intention on doing another story about Pierce, but just recently on his show, Good Morning Britain, he did something completely outrageous there, ate some vegan food and and then ended up in the hospital a few days later and blamed it on the vegan food that he ate on his show. So I just want to go over this with you and just show you how ridiculous this is. Are these the, what are these? The sausages or the vegan ones? What these are, are the vegan ones? Yeah. Vegan ones? So you yeah. can barely tell the difference. I can tell. I mean, they, they stink, right? No, for one, they're delicious. Right? Oh, really? Cooked plants stink, but cooked dead animal sausage doesn't? They're delicious, actually. Because they've got the same seasoning. Ooh, God. The vegetarian sausage is nicely flavoured. Oh. <laughs> Pierce is obviously a big faker. Notice how he's the only one, conveniently, that doesn't like the vegan sausage roll. That's a good look, Pierce. Oh, my God. I would eat why that. Why would anyone eat mm. this? I'll tell you why, Pierce, because eating a vegan sausage roll does not involve the killing, the slaughter of an innocent animal. That's why, Pierce. Because it's really tasty. Yeah. Because nice. everyone goes to Greg's to be healthy, right? Well, aside from the fact that a vegan diet can be very healthy for you, Pierce, nowhere in the definition of veganism does it say that it's a healthy diet. You could be a junk food vegan if you want. Veganism, in case you're not aware, Pierce, is a a lifestyle that seeks to avoid as much as practically possible all forms of exploitation and cruelty to animals. Vegan Happy Meals, McDonald's, because everyone goes to McDonald's to be healthy, don't they? Pizza Hut's gone vegan too, because we all go to get a pizza to lose weight and be healthy. Once again, Pierce, these companies are simply offering their customers a choice. It's not like they've banned their non-vegan products off their menus. Why are you so against people having the freedom to choose what kind of food they want to eat. Are you a fascist? This is complete gastronomic appropriation. Gastronomic appropriation? Did you make that up, Piers? So you're saying that it's somehow wrong for vegans to eat pizza. Only meat eaters or dairy eaters can enjoy pizza. This is complete nonsense. And as a side note here, watch how his show host, Susanna, makes fun of him here. He's just mocking his nonsense. In France, they've now banned all vegetarian and vegan products from using meat phraseology. They can't call fake veg and we should do that here it's a complete con what? so yeah yeah pierce goes on and on waxing on about how horrible veganism is but the story takes an interesting turn just a few days after the airing of this pierce ended up in the hospital and he blames his hospitalization on eating one mouthful of vegan sausage roll which i find extremely hard to believe especially since he threw it all up into the trash can for us all to see so when someone on twitter asked him why he's truly in the hospital he said if you really want to know, I was diagnosed with stomach gastritis and duodenitis. I blame eating a mouthful of vegan sausage roll, Brexit, and Donald Trump. So what exactly are gastritis and duodenitis? Well, gastritis is an inflammation of the lining of the stomach, and duodenitis is an inflammation of the lining of the upper small intestine. Well, that's a bit ironic, Piers, because right after the Greg sausage roll incident, you were back on Good Morning Britain promoting Morgan's Meats as a way to fight the vegan resistance. And I say this is ironic because Piers is hospitalized for inflammation in the stomach, and here he is promoting meat, and studies have shown that eating high amounts of red meat daily, which it sure looks like Piers is doing, is a risk factor for gut inflammation. And eating high fiber diets, like plants, lowers the chances of stomach inflammations. It was quite enlightening to look at comments on his Twitter. Here, Matt's calling him out saying, Jesus, you only ate one bite of that vegan sausage roll. What? And upon further reflection, Matt adds, can you finish it, please? Oh, snap! And the ridiculousness of Piers vomiting after having one bite of a vegan sausage roll gets called out in this article from Live Kindly. Nine times Piers Morgan ate vegan food and didn't puke. So I want you guys to comment down below, what's really going on with Piers Morgan here and his crusade against veganism, fighting the vegan resistance against us like 3% of the world? I know all you guys in the United Kingdom have told me that no one takes him seriously there. He's a blowhard, a bellend, and all sorts of other flowery descriptive terms like that. So let me know, why is he doing this for? Is he just getting some attention from the media, attention from vegans? It seems like a complete waste of time for him to go and use his platform 
platform on Twitter and, and national television to rant against vegans and vegans having the freedom to choose the food that we want to eat that doesn't involve exploiting and killing animals. So let me know your thoughts down below. Hit like, share this video with a Piers Morgan fan. And remember guys, remember Piers, it doesn't suck being vegan. You can eat pizza, you can eat burgers. It's been